kind of I would like yeah. to play around with some electric circuits, play around with ohm's law, play, play around with uh feature slows. Let's say we have a circuit consisting of a battery, a resistor, another resistor, another one, another one. Let's label them. So this is R1, R2, R3, R4, R5, and R6. So from the battery, let's say the battery B, we expect current to flow out of the battery, current I. The current that flows through I1, sorry, the current that current I that flows through R1 will get to this junction and split into two, I1 and I2. So we can say from Kirchhoff's current law, I, is equal to I1 plus I2. Then Kirchhoff's voltage law. If we look at this from, <coughs> excuse me, if we treat this with Kirchhoff's voltage law, this second is Kirchhoff's voltage law. We can call this a closed loop. The first one here as a closed loop. The second loop here as a closed loop. We can even look at it all around here and say it's a closed loop. Then I can come to say okay. So then I come to say that I can move around this loop in this direction and round this loop in this direction. So what do we get? From Kirchhoff's voltage rule for loop A, I can say that B, which is the voltage of the battery, minus I R1, which drops which is a voltage drop across R1 minus I2 R6, which is a voltage drop across R6 minus I R5. Well, this is not properly written. This is R5 uh, minus I R5. Will be equal to zero. That's what your uh, Kirchhoff's voltage law says about the first uh, loop. Then what is Kirchhoff's voltage law saying about the second loop, loop B? In loop B, there are no batteries in there, but you can just uh, go through the loop starting from this point, well, starting from the what color is it? Purple or something from this purple point. So, since I1, this is I1, since I1 flows through R2, we'll say a voltage drop of I1 R2 drops across that resistor. And I1 flows through R3, then a voltage drop of I1 R3 also drops across R3. Again, I1 still flows through R4. Then minus I1 R4 
then now coming to the resistor R6. I2, current I2 flows through resistor R6. But looking at this closely, you would notice that R, the, uh, the direction of current of I2 is flowing downwards, which is opposite the direction with which we are navigating around the loop. So in this case, we are not be talking about minus, rather we're talking about plus, plus I2 R6. And that's equal to zero. So what we need to do now is to simplify. So let's let me write out this uh, equations. Right. So the first equation says, the so first picture's voltage loss is that B minus I R1 minus I2 R6 minus I1 R5 equal to zero. While the second equation is saying minus I1 R2 minus I1 R3 minus I1 R4 plus I2 R6 equal to zero. Second equation is saying minus I1 R2. Okay, I would have loved to write it with another color. Let's just take color green or something. Minus, oh, sorry. Minus I1 R2 minus I1 R3 minus I1 R4 plus I2 R6 equal to zero. Equal to zero. So if you look at this, is it for us to say that minus I1 into bracket R2 plus R3 plus R4 closing the bracket plus I2 R6 equal to zero. Then easily we can say that I to R6 is equal to I1, open bracket, R2 plus R3 plus R4. So this equation tells us a very interesting thing we should have noticed from the first sight on the circuit, which is that Resistors R2, resistors R2, R3, and R4 are in series. The same current flows through them. And the three of them are in parallel to R6. So since the same current flows through R2, R3, and R4, they are in series. And you would agree that resistors R2, R3, and R6 are all in parallel with resistor R6. What that means is that the same voltage drops across R6 will be equal to the voltage drop across R2 plus R3 and R4. That means that when we add the voltage drop across R2 to the voltage drop across R3 to the voltage drop across R4, it should give us the voltage drop across R6. So since we know that V is equal to IR, the quantity we have here, the quantity we have here 
for the sun. It's voltage. <coughs> Excuse me. Well, so also the quantity we have here is a voltage across resistors R1, uh, sorry, R2, R3, and R4. Well, on the left hand side of this equation is a volt, uh, voltage drop across resistor R6. So, a simpler way we should have approached this, uh, approach the circuit in the first place. Let me redraw it. In science, mathematics, physics, there are always the simple and the complex way of approach. No matter the way you go through, you will definitely have the answer. But why go through the complex routes? Why well, you can easily go through the simple one? So let's label them as R1, R2, R3, R4. Okay, this is R5 and R6. So normally, what I would do if I'm being asked, what is the current flow through resistor R1? I should not waste time in taking uh, these three resistors in series. And the total resistance of those three resistors, which I will call R234, will be equal to R2 plus R3 plus R4. And now, R234, I can now have a new circuit that will now be of this nature, me having a battery Resistor R1, resistor R234, resistor R5, and resistor R6. So R234 is in parallel to R6. So what is the total? equivalent resistance of this combo. I can easily call that R234 6. R6 and R234 are in parallel. So a simple way to find the total resistance is to say 1 divided by R2346 is equal to 1 over R6 plus 1 over R234 So what that means is that my R2346 will be equal to 1 over R6 plus 1 over R234. Oh, sorry, that place is too small for me to write. Let me write it here. This one. So I'm interested in. I'm interested in these two resistors. Then I will say my R2346 is equal to 
I open my brackets, one over R6 plus one over R234, everything raised power minus one. So and that will give me R2346. And that will reduce the circuit to something of this nature. Having a battery, having resistor R1, resistor R2346. So this still have battery B, our resistor R1, and our resistor R5. Since resistors R1, R2346, and R5 are in series, so it is for us to say that the total resistance R total is equal to R1 plus R2346. Plus R5. And that will lead to a simple circuit of this nature. So this is R total connected to our battery B. Then the current that will flow through out of the battery through R total will be the voltage of the battery B. Let's call that uh, V. So just call it V. Let's say it's also, no, let's, let's, let's call it V because we are used to V. Then it's easy to consider that the current I that will flow out of that battery will be V over RT. So the current I flows out of the battery V over RT. So the current in this uh, circuit. So let me go back to this. So in this uh, circuit, current I flows out of the battery B through R1, through R2346, and through R5. Well, let's go to our previous circuits. Current I flows out of resistor R1, splits into two. Part of it flows through R234, and that part flows through R6 and they both merge back to give us current I, which will flow through R5. And when we move back again to our bigger circuits, current I flows through R1, gets to this junction, split into two. When it gets to this junction, splits into two. I1 flows through, continues straight forward, while I2 flows downwards through R6, that is where we started initially to say that current I is equal to I1 plus I2. So now I1 will flow through R3, flow through, sorry, will flow through I2, flow through R3, and flow through R4. And I2, which flow through R6, will meet at this junction to continue to the left as the same current I, which flowed through R1. So, no matter how we look at it, by using simple resistor, simplifying this, or uh, the simple resistor circuits, or trying to go complicate matters by going through Kirchhoff's laws, electrons will still behave as electrons. So, I hope you've gotten one or two abstract concepts about simple electric circuits, and I would be happy to seek questions in the comment section. Thank you.